guys welcome to another vlog guess what we're doing today we are finally 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 starting my spring cleaning sorry oh my eyes just watering today i'm finally starting a little bit of my spring cleaning reorganization refresh remember when i told you guys i was gonna do cleaning all of april i lied today is the 21st <laughs> I'm gonna try to get up a little clip of what I'm doing today, this video today. We'll see if that goes well. But I figured, you know what? Let's start the vlog. So at first I wanted to make this all aesthetic and organized. And when I was thinking of the overall project, I was getting discouraged. So if you're trying to spring clean like I am, like I am don't think about the whole thing. Think of one section at a time, one project at a time, one little drawer at a time, and it's gonna be a lot easier because I've been stressing for the last three weeks and here we are just now about to try to do one thing, maybe two things today. So not gonna do too much of talking. Well, I'm, let me not even say that because I'm probably gonna talk, but I'm gonna try <laughs> to go through this as quickly as I can. Um, I will let you guys know what I'm doing. I'll definitely let you guys know what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, what I'm using. But for the most part, I'll probably play music so I can get through this stuff as quickly as I can because I don't want to take all day. One project at a time. So let me show you guys a couple of my cleaning supplies real quick. Um, I'm in the bathroom right now, but I'll probably... I can't talk. <laughs> I'll probably do this guest bathroom after. But right now, I think I'm going to start with my bar area because I got my organization in that I wanted to just kind of clean up that section. So I think I can do that today. But real quick, remember I told you guys that I have cleaning supplies in both bathrooms so it makes my job easier. So since I'm in the bathroom, let me show you guys what I was talking about. So I got this little bucket thing from Target. Um, I saw this idea on, what's her name? McKenna Walker, if you don't follow her, follow her. She do vlogs all day. I mean, two and a half hour long vlogs every Sunday, I think it is. <laughs> but she dropped so many little gems along the way, which I'm so glad that I don't, I, I'm not the type of person who'd be like, oh, that video is long, I'm not gonna watch it. She will show you and put you onto so many things. So she talked about this months ago obviously um she's living in like a two-story house so she had the idea of having cleaning supplies in different areas that way make your job easier and i was like yeah <laughs> that makes so much sense so you don't have to be in the upstairs downstairs to do it if you have multiple bathrooms um it's just nice to have it because let's say i was cleaning this bathroom which is a guest bathroom i have to go across the house to the other side to my bathroom to get the cleaning supplies and maybe at times you want to do like spot cleaning quick cleaning and it's really nice to just be like oh this glass need to be clean reach on there grab the glass cleaner and clean it so great idea so what I have in here, which this is finishing up, so I probably need to make a list of any little thing that I need. This is some Clorox spray. This is mostly for wiping down, um, sanitizing. Does it have bleach? It says 0% bleach, but it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. It has hydrogen peroxide. It's just a multi-purpose cleaner. I love to have these for like bathrooms. So this is running out, so I need to re-up on that. Um, this has been a new favorite of mine for the last, maybe a year by now. This is the Kaboom with OxyClean Foam Taxic, Foam, <laughs> Foam Tastic Foaming Bathroom Cleaner. I saw this on TikTok multiple times, just seeing when they spray how it looks. I love the color and I love that as it changes color, you know it's time to like clean that area. Mostly use these for tubs, for the sinks. You can spray it on the toilet, of course. Um, sinks, showers, and tubs. That's mostly what this is for. You guys will see me use it at some point, but if you're not familiar with it, it's the one that you spray that has the color and then it just kind of changes. And it has a lemon scent, so one of these in each bathroom. This glass cleaner is now my favorite. It's the Sprayway glass cleaner. If you know, you know. 
it's a foam glass cleaner and now I finally have two and I think I want to get a third one I want to get one for the kitchen because you can also use it on like the stove top I need more of these but these were my favorite um, little cleaning cloths at one point but now I use microfiber towels and last but not least Clorox wipes you guys saw me buy these this is what I talk about when I say quick cleaning or if you just need it to like sanitize so after I clean um, wipe down with a microfiber towel I can just kind of go over things with the Clorox wipe if I make a mess on the counter um, I can use it on the door handles just stuff to clean and sanitize so now I finally have one in each bathroom and the stuff I bought from Target weeks ago is still sitting in the bag. <laughs> so these are the bowl cleaners, toilet bowl cleaners. I love the Lysol ones. I've been using them for years and years. Absolutely love them. I don't have any scissors over here. But even though I use like the... I use a disposable bowl cleaner. I will put up a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about. I've been, I've been using those for years as well since moving into this house. It just makes so much more sense than using the regular toilet bowl cleaner that you have to reuse. It's dirty if you really think about it because every time you clean your toilet bowl, you don't really clean and sanitize it. So it just sits there in that little puddle of water till the next time you clean. I don't like that so now I have one of the is it Clorox is it considered Clorox yeah this part it is by the brand Clorox um, let me just show you this is what I'm talking about you have this you have the little pads you just connect to it and it turns blue and you clean your toilet bowl um, I got to clean wipe these down as well so that's what I use for the toilet, but I still like to put this on, let it sit there for 20, 30 minutes, and then go ahead and scrub just to give it that nice, clean white. Oh, why is this so hard to rip? Shit. All right, so one of these will go in this bucket. I got a pair of gloves, so I don't know where the other one is at. <laughs> Disposable gloves is what I usually use anyway. Um, so this will go in my other bathroom and you guys saw from the video I picked finally picked up one of these I've seen these again on TikTok or Instagram it's just a little brush I think you use battery uh, maybe I'm pretty sure you use battery but it comes with two brush heads that way you can really get into little cracks and crevices um, grout lines corners and crevices tight spaces especially during this deep cleaning phase so i finally bought that it was a little not really pricey but you know you, you're looking at it like uh, it can wait finally picked up a wood cleaner so i have this in the regular multi-surface cleaner that i use in the kitchen but with all the dust that i get and stuff like that i was like let me get the wood one as well so that way i can use it on the dining room table on the coffee table um cleans greases and grime yeah kitchen and coffee tables um anywhere that's wood <laughs> tables counters walls shelves panels um, I can probably also use this on the shelves I'm going to be cleaning at the bar in my little bar area as well because technically it's wood so I picked up one of those and that was it so I just wanted to show you guys that before I move on to the kitchen <laughs> so let's go into the kitchen so I'm going to show you guys the before and what I'll be doing <laughs> So this is the little bar area that we have. It's right next to the kitchen. I found this on Wayfair. It's a wine holder. Um, the gray is a little darker than my kitchen, but at least it's gray. So it kind of, it's not really way off. So I bought this a couple years ago. Really, really nice. It holds three, six, nine, twelve. 18 bottles. <laughs> 18 bottles. You have two drawers and you have a door. Um, we put up these two shelves to hold the alcohol because the counter was getting crowded and then it ended up getting crowded anyway. 
So we have a bunch of tea bags because this brand has really good teas. As you can see, different ones for different things. Um, calm your stomach, balance, beauty, sleep, stay well. I need to get back on drinking those. Um, I bought them for my husband a while back. Um, I picked up this quick and clean coffee maker cleaner thing. I'm going to be using that today as well. This is just extra cup, a pack of four that he had bought because he wanted this type of cup for a drink he was making. I don't remember what it was. That, um, this candle can be thrown away because we've burned it out. <laughs> I probably will light it today so it can burn all day. This was just extra flowers that I had left. These little thick ones. Throw that out. Actually, I need to get a before picture and video. Then we have a Q-Reg. Don't know why I got it this color. I regret getting it red, but it's okay. It's already here. This water has been sitting in there for a while, so I need to clean that. So we're going to clean the coffee maker. Already have a organizer right here. Need to get some more coffee. I gotta see how many I need so I can buy a pack of coffee there. Because I want to get back to making my own coffee at home instead of going to Starbucks. Right now I've been doing good. I only go to Starbucks like once a week. But you know, I want to get this station in order so that when you feel for coffee, you can just walk over and make your coffee. This is a bunch of shot glasses and stuff that we have. We've been collecting. I am trying to find a better tray for that. But I gotta wait till we either go to Home Goods, Ikea somewhere, I'll find something better than this. Or I'll check my kitchen and see if I find something because this is a little flimsy, a little flimsy tray. So I wanna get rid of this and just make this look a little better with the shot glasses, the shakers, and all that. So this is that. This is extra juice and stuff down here. The cooler we use when we host or this glass one. If those are expired, I gotta throw them out. Water machine is right here. We also need to clean that, but I probably gotta wait till this water bottle runs out, then I'll run some water through there to clean that. <laughs> These are the organizers I just got that I'm gonna be using throughout the house to get everything organized. And this is just extra stuff I'm getting rid of. The air fryer that I no longer use. Some extra plates that I no longer use. And that so that is what we're working with here that is what I'm gonna tackle first thing this morning I think I can knock it out in a couple hours take everything down wipe the shelf down wipe the bottles down get all those bottles clean and organized and then tackle the shelf right there and get that organized so that's project number one. I think it's better to just pick something small, get it out the way. The reason I haven't done it is, like I said, I was waiting on organizers. Oh, let me show you guys the drawer. Um, so on the top drawer, I have a bunch of, like, mixers, a bunch of straws. Don't know why the lighter is in here. Different type of straws like this, or forks, whatever you call this. This is party forks. So I'm going to put some of those organizers in here so this drawer can get organized. This one just has more stuff that we use. This is like a rimmer. You put your salt and liquid in here. These are some salt, margarita salt. I got to check if they're expired. I didn't love these. We bought them from Amazon a couple years ago. Lime infused salt. I don't know why I didn't really like these, but I don't see an expiration date on there. But that's the thing with spring cleaning. I'm going to check everything, see if anything is expired. Yep, look at that. This say 2021. Going in trash. And then down here we have some extra cups. And stuff like collectibles mostly but I think I'm gonna reorganize it that way we have cups like this on the top this is our little margarita glass I thought these were so cute we have two of those um, these ones he collected when he went to Tennessee he 
mason jars and then we have extra salt and stuff again check the dates on this this one says September 2021 triple sec that is fine simple syrup 2024 so I'll just check everything I want to make cups on one side extra mixers and stuff on one side and then all that I'm gonna start by taking everything off of the shelf put it on the kitchen island that way I can move the bottles down to the shelf without dropping anything so that's the plan so but I gotta get a clip with my phone and stuff of like the before I start taking everything down so I'll be back all right so I am ready to get started so first thing first is the tea bags like I told you guys I want to take everything off the top so we're gonna start with these tea bags and get them over here um. All right, so this is the tea bag organizer that I got from Amazon. I have one already that I have my regular tea bags in and I just figured I'll get a second one and add to the pantry. This is by the brand M Design. They have some of the best organizers. This is what it looks like. It comes with all the little sections and you just put your tea bags in. Um, I have six packs of tea, two, four, six, eight sections. So if I have too much of one, I'll just put it in a different section. I think these are individually packed, so I don't have to label them or anything. I'll just put the packets in there. So that's pretty cool. I don't really have a method for this, so I'm just going to put them in. Refresh. Every day is a perfect day to refresh. I need to drink this more often. So let's put that in the front. This one is the Radiant Beauty. I don't remember what anything tastes like right now because it's been months since I drank them. I'm going to put this one behind that one. organization this is what it looks like it's not all the way full I still got space that I can fit other ones but you can see in the front what's in there open up grab a tea bag what is it how easy was that uh, this the other I need to wipe it off but this is the other tea container that I have this is all my Jamaican type teas mostly <laughs> I have this um, Trader Joe's one that is that herbal blend tea um, Caribbean honey and ginger chamomile tea uh, lemongrass earth mama the raspberry leaf tea for when you're on your period um, yeah just a bunch of tea but I actually need to go through this one and clean it up and now they're stackable on top of each other like how cool is that 
And another reason I have those Bigelow tea, they were like the recommended caffeine-free tea. For example, this one is the Stay Well Everyday Tea. This one has Enchinacea. <laughs> it's a little bright, but right there. <laughs> Has good benefits, lemongrass, rose hips, elderberry. I need to definitely get back on my tea drinking stuff. Sage, plantain, leaves, elderflowers, marshmallow root, like all these benefits. This one is the cinnamon and blackberry tea. This oh, it's caffeine free, caffeine free. So no caffeine. Um, this one has cinnamon, which is good to help balance your body dandelion to support healthy harmony and fennel which is help with healthy equilibrium just a balanced tea the calm stomach has peppermint to help with digestion ginger help with digestion and marshmallow roots help with digestion um, chamomile you already know what that is soothing calms relaxation with the lavender poppy flowers to help with restfulness and calm that is something i want to do more is drink tea at night uh radiance beauty has aloe vera to help with radiant skin acerola Rose hip again, healthy glow, elderberry, support well-being. So they're all just great benefits. So that's why I have those teas. Drink it more. So that is that. I'm going to start taking everything else off the counter there and get started with that. So let me put these to the side.
looking organized um, I'm about to do that top drawer so to organize that top drawer I got these wood organizers I didn't want to get the same plastic ones I have some plastic ones but that's gonna be for other areas around the house so these are the organizers that I bought they're five piece hopefully they fit perfectly into that top drawer that way, just give it a different vibe instead of the usual plastic office -y ones that I have. Yeah, this is what I'm using. These are also from Amazon. I will link them down below. I love that they're separated so you can put them, organize them how you want to in terms of placement. Because getting one big thing sometimes may not fit. This way you can, you know, customize it the way you want it. These can be used anywhere you would like. Yeah, you can use these in the bathroom as well or whatever, but I just think they fit real good with the kitchen, especially since I already have a lot of wood organizers in the kitchen. So, yeah, let's go do that. annoying but all five does not fit but that's the whole purpose the drawer is extremely small so only four of them fit which is fine um, I'm just gonna put some of these in here like the 
mixer thingy fits perfect there. I can put the wine stoppers in this smallest one right here. This is a wine opener. I'll stick with that because I need the straws to fit. Let me see which one of these the straws fit in. Straws fit there. All the different types of straws. there all right guys this is what i have it's not the best but it's better than what it was i just put the wine openers in the back because i really don't have any wine i'm drinking right now the wine stoppers and a tea bag strainer in here i might just push these back a little bit yeah Put the wine, not the wine, but the tea thing right there where I can see it. Here's a bunch of different straws, different sizes. The middle part has the thing you use to mix drinks, little toppers and stuff, and the lime squeezer because we use that the most. You have the little cup holders here and then these little party forks in here. It is coming up on hosting season, having people over season. So this one, I don't remember what it was for. But I think it fits right there. So that is my little bar top drawer organization. Have this extra thing left. I'm gonna see if I can use it in the second drawer. So that drawer is done and this drawer I'll just make sure, see if anything is expired. This one says sell by April. Doesn't say it's expired, so I'll hold on to it for now. This one expired through the way. These two are the two I have from Amazon. I'm like, hmm, I don't really like them. I probably should throw them away. I don't know. I'll hold on to them for now. This I bought last year. This I bought last year. It opens out. I saw this and I was like, that is such a cool idea. I probably will change out the salt once I have people over. But you put salt in there. Because I haven't used it in like a year, roughly a year or so. That and this one is sugar. I need to find a the sugar for there and how does it go is that it i thought it had a third one I'm like oh there you go <laughs> I'm like i think it has three and then you just wet this pad with whatever lime juice to rim your glass i don't know if you guys can see but that's what it looks like when it opens out you have your juice thing right here so you can just put the glass over here to 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 wet gets wet if you need sugar if you need salt and they can make your margarita so i thought this was cool glad i have it now and now i don't know how to close it hold on there you go and it closes up and can be put away wipe that off and then oh not all the salt in here all those Jolly Ranches again. The juice. So, yeah, let me vacuum this real quick.
and that is done just like that everything is still in here got some coasters that I've had for years I think they were from like the coca-cola factory or something coasters there um, I don't know if I'll keep this this way these are extra springs for his little drink making tool that I have up there so for now that is what that looks like and that's probably what I'll keep it as this is like your accessory drawer so I'm going to take a break, come back, do this section right here. Even though this is like a wine holder, we do have pretty much other alcohol down here. So I need to clean these out, wipe them off as well, and figure out this little section that I told you guys about down here. Get that organized. But overall, good progress. Good, really, really good progress. So almost there. Mm -hmm.